In this video, we're going to see an example of how to write a class that implements the iterator interface. So I have a class called even numbers. It's going to give me each successive even number. So it's going to implement iterator. So I say it implements iterator and iterator is a generic. So I need to give it a type here and it's going to return an iterator with integers and that's implements. So now when I type this, first off, it doesn't know what this is. So I need to import iterator. And now that it knows what that is, it says, hey, you have another problem. You haven't implemented all the methods you need. So we'll take care of that in just a moment. So first off, I'm going to have two integers, the current number and the max number. Let me create a constructor or let Eclipse generate a constructor for me. I only want the constructor to take in max though, not num. So that's good. And then if you don't pass up the end, the default constructor, I'll use the integer max value. So this will go to whatever the maximum integer value allowed by this machine. Now I need to implement these methods. So I could write them out, but to be sure that I get the signatures and everything correct, I'm just going to say add unimplemented methods because you'll notice I'm my class name is underlined in red. If I hover over, it gives me the option to, I could make it abstract, but hopefully you can see why that would be a terrible idea. I want to add the unimplemented methods. So now I have a has next and a next method. We're good to go. In this constructor, I do want to make sure that num is equal to zero. I guess I could, if I wanted to, I could set up another constructor that lets you say the even number is starting at some other value, but I'm not going to mess with that. So to determine if this iterator has next, meaning if there's another number, what I'm going to check is if num is less than or equal to max. And it turns out that doing that comparison returns a Boolean that would satisfy that property. So if num is less than max, there is another number that I can print. If it's equal, I can still do that because I'll actually increment number after I return it. So next is a little bit more difficult. We have to do a little bit more logic here. So I'm going to have some return value. And then if this has next, and you may think, why don't you just say num less than or equal to max? Well, I just want to make sure that if I made a change to the logic and has next, it'll get picked up here automatically. And that's what I want it to do. I'm going to return num and then num is going to be. So again, if I was going to allow you to set your own starting value, I would need to make sure that that was set to an integer. Otherwise this would return all the odds, right? Because I'm assuming that this starts at zero. So as I add two, I get one even number, then the next even number and so forth. So now once I've done all this, I can return whatever that return value was, which was the old next number, which now number has been incremented and I've returned the, that other number. So when this starts off, this will be zero. So next will return zero and then num will be set to two. Then the next time you call next, it'll return two and then we'll add two to num. So it'll be four. So let's save this and make sure we don't have any issues. It looks like we don't, so that's good. So now let's see how we would use this. First, I'm going to instantiate two even number iterators. And then the first one is evens, and I'll give that a max of 10. And more evens will not have a max. So I'll create a loop here, and I'll say, well, evens has next. I want to print evens.next. And I'll add a space, and that'll print all the evens. Now for more evens, and I guess that should be lowercase. For more evens, this is a little trickier because I certainly don't want to use while well, has next because it's going to has next until it gets to the maximum integer. So I'm going to use a for loop here and I'll do the same thing I did above, only I'll do it with more evens. Okay, so let's uh, run this code. Oops, I think we need, we're missing a print line. I think that would be good there. So if you run this, you can see more evens only goes up to 10, which is what we initialized it with right here. And this gives us 30 of these. What's convenient about this iterator, and, and one of the things that sometimes is confusing is we talk about how an iterator should fail fast, meaning if the iterator changes or if the underlying data structure changes or something's wrong with that, it needs to throw an exception. And this would be a case, right? I could do some stuff here and then I can come back and print five more evens with no trouble at all. So I'm coming back to this iterator after doing some other stuff. Now, this isn't much, but if you can think of this iterator as being part of a collection, I could have added or removed things if I wanted to. Now, since this is the integers, it's hard to remove integers, I guess, or even numbers. But you can see here's five more integers and notice it picks up right where it left off. And I can do the same thing 
again and just say, here's, let's just, let's just do 20 more. And so if I don't change this to 20, it doesn't matter. So now if I run this, you can see it prints 20 more numbers. So let's suppose I want to reset more evens. Well, I can do that, make a new even numbers object. Now more evens, I can print, and I'll say that I'm resetting it. And actually I can just take this code to print, print those. And if I run this, you can see after I reset it, it prints out 20 starting at zero. So at, when I reuse that iterator, I would get the next thing, the next thing, and the next thing. Here, once I reset it, which I misspelled, you can see that it starts back over at zero. And there's actually nothing preventing me from in even numbers having a reset method. I just chose not to do that for simplicity. So this is a quick introduction to iterators. It's something that, again, just like generics, we'll be using a lot as the semester progresses.